they start off just kind of came out aggressive and you just hoping to get it from him? Um, no, Coach Barnes has been yelling at me all week about not shooting the ball. Um, like every other thing he yells me for is not shooting the ball. So I had to shoot it or I was going to be taken out. Uh, I like to stay in the game, so if that's what I have to do to stay in the game, that's what I'll do. How's the team been during this stretch? I mean, some of those losses weren't the worst losses that you've had. But... It felt. Um, it felt like the beginning of the season, the you know, pre-conference. I mean, I caught myself thinking, you know, our, our season's over some days because three losses is the end of the world to some people on our team, and I don't know why. I mean, Coach Barnes really put it in perspective yesterday at practice. We're a half game out of first place, even with those three losses. Um, the conference is still up for grabs. People have losses here and there. And we can't let that affect um, how we play every time. And I think being at home today really helped. We play awesome at home compared to on the road. And we have to get tough skin because we're heading on the road the next week. No. Team, you know, it's like, <laughs> do you end up coaching sometime? You know, it's like telling, as a senior, you know, telling some of these players that Coach Barnes doesn't have to. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people are sick of hearing my voice, though, because I've been around them for how many years? And I try to, you know, tell other people, like, you have to say something. What I say goes in and out people's ears because I just don't stop talking. And, I mean, I, I try to say what I need to, but Coach Barnes' system's new to me, too. So, I just try to keep people motivated more than anything else. But holding them to 56 points you didn't have in the 80s. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, they only scored 56 points today. You've been giving up a lot more. Yeah. Um, I mean, we the past three games, we played some high-powered offenses. I mean, Cleveland State scoring the 80s. Every game, I've checked their box score. Wright State's a freaking powerhouse when it comes to offense. Um, you know, and we can't use as we can't use that as an excuse for them scoring. I think we've done that the past three games, and you know, it's taking pride in yourself. And they're not going to score 80 points. You know, they shouldn't even score 70, in my opinion. But they're going to make some tough shots. But they shouldn't be getting lobs for layups or open shots because of miscommunication. That's where we've been struggling lately. Oh uh, yeah, I'm winning tonight is more of an ease than a lot of people know. You know, that locker room is more lively than it's been the past two weeks. I mean, after the Cleveland State loss, it hasn't been the same. And so I'm hoping that with this win, we're back on track attitude wise and we realize why we're good. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm actually really excited for the Milwaukee game to see how we pick it up. Do you all feel like you can put yourselves in a position to win the conference? Oh yeah, and we were just talking how we want to host the tournament this year. I mean, to do that my senior year would be a dream come true. Let's go like one or two more. Or zero one. All right, thank you. Thanks, guys.